Hello everybody and welcome back. This is the TiVo Tarantula version 2 that Gearbest gave me for a review and I'm really grateful for that because it was a very nice experience um, getting this printer to work correctly and now that it is working correctly I really like it. Um, but more to that later. So, this is the TiVo Tarantula. You can see it's quite a big printer. It measures uh, 48 centimeters in height, 42 centimeters in width, and it has a depth of 57 centimeters. It is quite deep. And that has the reason because the Y-axis would also work for a build platform that was 250 millimeters long um, but for some reason the build area of this printer is only 200 by 200 by 200 millimeters but it really has that build size um, a lot of printers go for 200 by 200 by 200 and only have like 180 by 190 by 165 but not this one this is 200 in each direction and it really does a good job um, with all these things. So, what is it that this printer is really good at? Well, first of all, it did come with the upgraded extruder, um, which is a TiVo Titan, which is a geared extruder, and um, it comes with the original extruder and the TiVo Titan kit, and it has the combination of the big stepper from the old extruder plus the geared extruder driver and that makes for a very good combination. It does have a lot of torque and it can go really fast but it can also have an immense amount of pressure for a very short time, release it, put it back on and with the smaller stepper that usually comes with the um, Titan extruder, that is not so much the case. So this combination is absolutely great. And just a word on print quality. I measured the prints. Uh, the line width was 0 0.58 to 0 0.64 millimeters for a single line of extruded filament, which is pretty much spot on perfect. Um, all the axes were perfectly perpendicular to each other. So right angles are right angles. And you can use this printer for doing very, very good uh, mechanical prints for machines or other things that you're building. And you can be sure that the axes are always per perfectly perpendicular. And the same goes for the z-axis which is now basically 100% wobble free and for a 3d printer in the between 200 and 300 dollar range that is quite good quality it really is what I really like about it is the print bed which has an isolation on the bottom so it doesn't spend all the heat um, away where you don't need where you don't really need it and um, it heats up really really quickly so that is another big plus for this printer so quality wise this thing really really rocks the rest of the story is more or less some struggling with the build, some struggling with the firmware, some struggling with the first prints and a little bit of struggling with the build platform because the coating that this build platform has is so incredibly good that you can sometimes have problems getting your prints off the print bed. And I've been using it for quite some time now because five weeks is a lot of time to test a printer um, and it's done a lot of prints and it has improved. I have been able to get my prints off a lot better than at the beginning. And um, 
at the beginning it was so bad that I think that I put a dent in the build platform just for trying to get the print off. But the rest of it is all nice. Everything is really cool. The printer is not too loud. It is one of the louder printers, but it is not like a screeching loudness with very loud um, steppers. It's more of a, a power supply noise and a, a, a wind noise from the fans. And the rest kind of blends into that, so it's not that bad. All of the things that I had an issue with building it, most prominently was the Z-axis that I really hated, but it's a kit printer, so you should expect that things can go wrong. But in this case, um, they were very really easy to fix, and once they were fixed, this is just a really good printer. The extruder, the hot end, it just works out very well. I sort of wish that they had gone for a slightly bigger cooling solution on the hot end, but it works out fine. The only thing that I found out that wouldn't work so well are small figurines, because the 3D printer does not have print cooling. But that is really easy to put on yourself, and once it has that, or once you put a fan really close to the printer, that just works out a lot better than it does when it comes stock. Also, the tarantula came with two rolls of filament, each of them 0 0.2 kilograms. Uh, that is, that's probably the most uh, filament that I've ever gotten with any printer. And the quality from the filament, I haven't used a lot of it, but the quality is pretty good. Um, it's not that cheap stuff that you just, that, that they put near the printer that's already seen moisture, that doesn't really work out. Now, this thing was packaged uh, well, it came here really dry, and it performs quite well. I'm really happy with that too. The second thing that wasn't so great uh, was some of the setup things with the uh, controller board that just wouldn't um, hold down small things, things that you can solve yourself. The firmware was a little bigger issue um, because I had to search for a firmware for really long and the one that I found did work. So. I did grab the configuration and I just compiled my own version of Repetier for the 3D printer. And uh, that is one of the powers of open source. That just made it work out just like that. And I could do all the fixes that I wanted myself and I got everything set up really solid and the printer is still fast. It's moving like a charm. And uh, the prints are great. The prints are really, really great. This printer produces incredible layer bond. It produces incredible um, surfaces. It looks like a much more expensive printer. Of course, you need to get it set up correctly to get these results, but it's not that hard. The only thing that I really don't like about it is that the power rail on the uh, power supply um, is open. Um, there's nothing that you can put on top of that. There's no shroud, uh, no covering. It, it's not connected to anything. The power supply is just loosely connected to the 3D printer and the power leads are open. And um, that's kind of a no-no for me. Um, apart from that, it did take me some time to get it running, but it's a really solid printer. It's quite a big printer too. It works nicely and I just, I'm just having fun with it now. I've, I've had to print so many things and now it just works out. And that's what 
3D printing is all about. You, you don't want to mess with the printer all the time. You want to have to set it up once and once it's set up it should just keep on running. And that's what the, what's the case with mine. Um, it did take quite a long time to set it up. Once it was set up it's running fine. So I really like it and once again thanks to Gearbest for sponsoring this printer. I'm really enjoying it now. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.